Hi everyone, good morning. It's 8.05 a.m. I'm Tamar McHale with your news bites on the Ron Machette Morning Show from JamaicaObserver.com. A string of complaints, including salary alterations and unjust working conditions, have been unleashed by workers in the business process outsourcing BPO industry. The employees who anonymously spoke with the Jamaica Observer said the working conditions they have had to endure are leading to the deterioration of their mental health. They said they have been thrown into a tailspin with the challenges they experience on the job and are demanding better treatment. Deputy Superintendent of Police, DSP Coleridge Minto, has described the crackdown on illegal parties in the St. Andrew South Division as a cat-and-mouse game between partygoers and the police. DSP Minto told the Jamaica Observer that the revelers are adamant in their determination to breach the Disaster Risk Management Act, and it's a constant fight between them and the police to have the illegal parties shut down. Data provided by Commanding Officer for St. Andrew South, Senior Superintendent Kirk Ricketts, show that up to February 13 this year, 178 illegal parties were shut down and 84 arrests were made. A member of the Union of Clerical Administrative and Supervisory Employees, UKs, has blasted the Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS, for its failure to abide by protocols in handling an ongoing wage matter. General Secretary at UK's John Levy told the Jamaica Observer that JPS has sought to make arrangements with the bargaining units at the organization instead of meeting with delegates and elected unions which act on their behalf with regards to negotiations. According to Levy, UK's, which represents about 400 members and JPS, have been engaging in discussions about wages for a long time. The Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown, has hinted that the nation will hold an early election this year, but urged the opposition not to be in a hurry to lose. Speaking on his weekly radio program on the weekend, he noted that the election is close, but he will announce it when he is assured that his Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party will receive a resounding mandate from the electorate. Elections are constitutionally due between March and April next year. The Beijing Winter Olympics came to a close on Sunday in a touching ceremony. Almost 3,000 athletes competed in 109 events across 15 disciplines during the past two weeks. President for the International Olympic Committee, Thomas Bach, called for political leaders around the world to be inspired by the athletes' example of solidarity and peace. His comments come amid rising tensions between Russia and Ukraine. In a bit of local sport, Jamaica's reggae girls defeated Grenada 6-1 in their second game of the CONCACAF World Cup qualifying first round at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium in Grenada on Sunday. Jamaica will next play the Cayman Islands on April 9 before closing out the round against the Dominican Republic on April 12. Only the group winners will advance to the final round of qualifying, which will take place in Mexico in July. And Gladstone Gladdy Parker, who operated the popular Wild Bunch disc for over 40 years, died in Kingston on Saturday. He was 73 years old. Lincoln Eatman, his cousin, said the veteran sound system man succumbed to cancer, which he was diagnosed with in 2019. Wild Bunch disco is part of Jamaica's enduring oldest scene. Along with other sounds like Maritone and Classique, it catered to fans of rock steady music from the 1960s, as well as American soul songs songs from the 1960s and 1970s. And as we end, we share with you a Jamaican proverb. If you're bat monkey, him will fight tiger. Translation, if you support the monkey, it will fight a tiger. This means that encouragement and motivation drives belief and gives confidence. If you're bat monkey, him will fight tiger. And those were your news bites from JamaicaObserver.com right here on the Ron Machette Morning Show on Edge 105 FM. Do remember to follow us on Instagram and other social media platforms at the Ron Machette Morning Show and at official Ron Machette. I'm Tamar McHale. Have a fantastic day.